एक्शन Welcome back to Season 2 of Sin TV, where you'll find your news and daily announcements. I'm your anchor, Kamea Spearman. And I'm Simone Smith. This season, there are a few new changes, such as our studio. You will now find us in room 231. Special thanks to everyone that helped us set up and get started. All right now, let's get into the first episode. Take it away, Simone. Thank you, Kamea. Friday, September 9th, Sin staff and students gathered out on the front lawn to show off the various clubs that Sin has to offer. How do you feel about Club Day? I mean, every year I've enjoyed it when they've had it, and this year it looks like a much bigger turnout than last year, and there's a lot more clubs that I didn't see before, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, Club Day is really good compared to last year as well. Uh, it was really strong here last year. This year is a uh, great showing as well. It's a great way for people to get an idea of what to get involved in for the school year. Having club day can help people know about the clubs that we got here at Sen, because people want to sign up but they don't know how to. So having club day can really tell people about the club. Club day is uh, exciting, first week of school, everyone's out, enjoying to see what type of clubs are out, and I hope everyone having a good time. How do you think this benefits the students? Oh, it, it benefits great. Um, it gives students the opportunity to know what type of clubs and extracurricular we have at SIN, such as French club, Spanish club, we got volleyball, basketball. So there's a lot, and also they got new clubs coming that wasn't here last year. Yeah, man, they're running around like crazy asking, where, where's soccer club? Where's the robotics team? Where's the math club? Where's louder than a bomb? Can I sign up for yoga? And like, that's so crazy. It's such a change from the way it used to be, the fact that there are so many different options and the interest is so high in so many different things. It's just really exciting. It's a really good like end to an excellent first week here at Sin. Are you wondering how you're going to pay for college? Where do those grants and scholarships, the free money come from? FAFSA, free application for federal student aid. Learn how to apply, what forms you will need to gather at the Path to FAFSA workshop on Wednesday, September 28th from 5 to 6.30 in room 115. Seniors can also receive information and help applying for the FAFSA ID Tuesdays and Thursdays during all lunch periods in room 117. Are you looking for an extracurricular activity that will raise your test scores, build your confidence in public speaking, and teaches you how to argue better? The debate team is it. This year we will focus on creating a policy that could change how the U.S. outsources to sweatshops for textiles. We get ready for tournaments by meeting on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3.30 in room 301. See Ms. McAllister for more information. This year, SIN has welcomed over a dozen new teachers to our family. I sat down and talked to new ESL teacher Rachel Lackey about her journey here to SIN and how it's treating her so far. The students are really inviting. Um, being my first year here, um, many students from different clubs and things have reached out to talk, where are you from, what, you know, what have you done before? I think the teachers are really um, accepting and welcoming as well. Many teachers, we're so glad you're here and encouraging if you need anything, let us know. Um, I think the atmosphere in general here um, is something that has stood out to me. I'd always been interested in the school. It was something that um, was referenced many times when I was doing my master's degree at Loyola as being a very diverse school that had a large ESL population and also um, a very diverse in the sense that there's many opportunities for students here, being with the IB programs, with the DP classes, 
different things for students. So it was always um, a really interesting school to me, especially being close to the neighborhood. Our ESL students that are from different countries aren't just learning about American culture, they're learning about the cultures of the students that, that they're working with. I see um, just such opportunity for growth and expansion in our ESL department and I'm excited to be a part of that um, and to be able to reach out and um, even more so into the community, get our students even more attached to the community and being able to just grow what the services that we can provide. Juniors and seniors, do you have a 3.0 GPA? Are you interested in learning how elections work? Are you interested in earning $175? Please see Mr. Fingado in room 309 before Friday to apply to work as an election judge in the November 8th election. Next up, we will have Reagan Ivy and Ivan Alvarez with our question of the day. So how do you feel about the new iPhone not having a headphone jack? A headphone jack to an iPhone? That's essential for your musical experience. And you know you finna lose them joints. Look at you seen them joints. Ain't it, if you ain't got no core, how you going and what they like, rechargeable or something? Re rechargeable headphones. No, rechargeable earbuds. I think the iPhone jack, the Apple, the headphone jack is ridiculous because who's gonna pay over five hundred dollars for a phone that can't they can't have you can't even plug in an aux cord, so I think it's kind of ridiculous. In my opinion, the it doesn't really matter because they still give you the piece to plug into the the charger, the charger hole. So, I don't so it doesn't bother you that there isn't one? No. Um, I don't like it because you can't just use any headphone, or if you do want to, you have to carry around that little thing. So I'm not. I don't like it at all. I think it's kind of stupid. For cars that don't have Bluetooth, it makes it more harder for them. But people are gonna still buy it. I'ma still buy it. So yeah. For $160, what do you think? $160 for some little old with these, without this. They cheating y'all. They cheating y'all. Don't 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 pay for it. Don't do it. I didn't have the headphones yet and I lost them already. And why are they so expensive if 90% of the product is missing? Some club will be meeting on Wednesdays in room 300 at 2.30. Students will have the opportunity to view, discuss, and create films. Throughout the school year, film club will be meeting the third Wednesday of each month in room 300 at 2.30. Please see Mr. Bateman with any questions. Tuesday, September 20th, there is an informational meeting for girls basketball at 3.30 in the main gym. The meeting will be brief. If you plan on trying out for the girls basketball team, please plan on attending the meeting. Before we wrap up, we have a few people to thank for the help and support. We'd like to thank Ms. Beck for being a huge advocate for the program, Mr. Walsh for the massive help he gave us with the setup and vision, and all the teachers, students, faculty members that provided us interviews and footage. Our first day of school video has received over 10,000 views. Thanks to all that liked, shared, and commented on it. We've got some good momentum going. How do you think the first episode went, Simone? Good, but we're only getting better. Signing off for today's send, until tomorrow. Toots, Toots Magoots. Magoots.